I don't know if you knew this, but Disney has this little brand called Marvel and what? this thing they created called the MCU for most of you who don't know. And it's doing pretty well, both in the movie theaters when the theaters are open and now on Disney Plus. They're doing pretty well. One of the key players in this MC, MCU is, of course, Tom Holland playing Spider-Man. Now, we know we've talked about this over the last couple of years. He has a finite number of films left on his contract. And as a matter of fact, Tom Holland himself has just now confirmed that the upcoming newly titled Spider-Man 3, Spider-Man No Way Home, is in fact going to be Tom Holland's final film that he has on his contract. After Spider-Man No Way Home is done, his contract is fulfilled. He is no longer under contract to come back and appear in any more Spider-Man movies. That doesn't mean he won't. Don't panic. This is what Tom Holland had to say being interviewed. He said, Spider-Man 3 would be my last one under contract, Holland revealed. So I've always said to them, if they want me back, I will be there in a heartbeat. I've loved every minute of being a part of this amazing world. It's changed my life for the better. I'm so lucky to be here. If they want me back, I'll be there. If they don't, I will walk off into the sunset a very, very happy person because it's been an amazing journey. All right, so this comes to us again from Tom Holland himself that his official days of Spider-Man are now coming to an end, at least under the current contract. There's a couple of interesting thoughts here. Number one is don't panic. Chris Hemsworth's contract came to an end and then he re-upped. Ta- uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s contract very famously came to an end, which then led into a very public contract battle, but he ended up re-upping and coming back to play more Iron Man. It's happened again and again and again. And we even just talked recently that Chris Evans is coming back. So, I mean, there's that. So don't panic. Don't worry. The one thing I will say that maybe should worry about a little bit is that that's great that Tom Holland's saying, hey, you want me there? I'm there in a heartbeat. Okay. That's a great thing to say publicly. <laughs> but we know what the co- what the conversation behind the scenes are. It's, hey, Sony and Marvel. When I signed up for this thing, I was a pretty much unknown name. Some people recognize my name, but a pretty much an unknown name. I'm now Mm Spider-Man. And I've got, you know, my movies have made this much and this much and this much. I'm not saying Tom Holland's going to say this, but this is what his representation is going to say. For sure. Because this is their job. He was, no, but now it's all this kind of stuff. And, you know, you need, you need Tom more than Tom needs you. That's of course is not true, but that's what the, the agent's going to say. Right. You need Tom more than Tom needs you. And then of course, Kevin Feige will chuckle a little bit. Right. He said, therefore we need to add an extra one or two zeros on the end of that next contract. Back that truck up. That's right. And that's going to be, now listen, Kevin Feige, when he used to have to work under Ike Perlmutter and Ike Perlmutter was kind of the guy in charge, Ike Perlmutter was notoriously cheap Hmm. and hey that that's actually not a bad trait for a businessman but it hurt them some ways that they had to make casting moves and things like that based on the economics right kevin feige is not like that but he's also not a free wheel spender either Mm -hmm. so they are gonna have to work something out and i guess it's all gonna come down to How reasonable is Tom Holland's representation going to be? Is Tom Holland's representation going to take the position, like honestly take the position of you need Tom more than Tom needs you? Because that won't go well. Or are they going to take the position of, hey, look, we're all making money. We're all super happy. Let's give my kid a good good pay bump. Let's get back to work. Let's make more Spider-Man, whatever. It's all going to depend on that. Personally, I think this story is a footnote in in the history of Tom Holland and Spider-Man, we will someday look back. It's like, oh yeah, remember, just like we look back now at Chris Hemsworth re-upping and Robert Downey Jr. Someday we'll look back and say, oh yeah, remember, you know, remember uh, Holland's contract ran out one time, but they just, it, they're, this is going to get done. They're, everybody is happy. Everybody is happy. Look, Cherry is, is coming out, the new Tom Holland film, Cherry. 
It just, the reviews just hit Rotten Tomatoes. They're not great. But guess what? As long as he keeps playing Spider-Man, it doesn't matter. Guess what? He's got that movie coming out with Daisy Ridley. And I can't remember the name of it, where they live on the planet and there's no women. I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. I, the, the you guys that made me go, chat. oh my God, this is my worst You guys nightmare. in the chat, help me out again. What's the name of that movie? <laughs> yeah, the movie? chat's going to know. That, the yeah, chat you guys, always Chaos knows. Walking, Chuck Souza was the first one to put it in the live chat. Thank you, Thank Chuck. Thank you, Chuck. Um, yes, it's chaos, so he's got Chaos Walking. Guess what? Everything we're hearing is that it's not very good. Guess what? That's not going to hurt Tom's career because he's still Spider-Man. And so it's good to have him if you're Disney. It's good to have Spider-Man if you're Tom. This is going to get worked out. You look at this. I mean, you obviously come to this from a different perspective than I do. You've actually had these conversations. On well, a, not on this level. Not on this level, clearly. I've never said to Kevin Feige, you need me more than I need you. <laughs> yes, but yes, no. I have had negotiation So how is this going to, how do you see this playing out? How is this going to play out? Well, you know, here, one of the things that I love about this story is that, you know, we hear so many stories about what not to do. Gina Carano, perfect example. <laughs> um, and this is a wonderful story of how to play the game. A hundred percent, there have been times that Tom Holland has been so livid about what's going on with Spider-Man that he just wants to throw a television through a, a, a window. There have been times that he and his agent have been screaming about the, you know, ridiculousness of this decision or that decision. A hundred percent. He's had some really bad days. No one who's ever had a job has ever not had a bad day. So he's so Tom Holland is allowed to be pissed off at Kevin Feige. He's allowed to be pissed off at Marvel. He's allowed to be pissed off at whatever happened. But at the end of the day, when the microphone's in his face, it has been such an honor. <laughs> this has been the greatest gift of my life. I appreciate every moment of this because that's how the game is played. Additionally, this public statement and this coming out right now is not Tom just deciding, oh, I want to let everybody know that this is, no, this is Tom and his reps and his publicist and the Marvel publicist and the entire, all of them getting together and going, okay, we're going to release a statement and we're going to see, we're going to take the temperature of the room and our fans going, no, this is terrible. We need more Tom Holland. We mean, I'll never watch another Spider-Man movie if Tom Holland doesn't come back. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we do need to back that truck up. Or, you know what, Tom? Thanks so much for your service. We really loved you, man. I wonder who the next one's going to be. Oh, that's exciting. Who do you think it's going to be? And start throwing out names. Maybe that doesn't mean that Tom Holland's contract is going to be re-upped. But if, I mean, it really is, this is a conversation where a lot of people, especially all the number crunchers, are going to be looking at the analytics and going, okay, well, you know, the fans really want to see another Tom Holland Spider-Man movie. So I think that this is just one of those cases of, uh, you know, all of the publicists and all the marketing people getting together and going, all right, Tom, it's time for us to release a statement. Here's the statement. Tom being like, yeah, I, I th that works for me. Yeah, OK, here's my statement. And then now the temperature gets taken. Do we want Tom Holland back for another Spider-Man or are we ready to move on? And ultimately, that's going to be... It, I'm not saying that's going to be the only factor. Obviously, Kevin Feige makes his own decisions based on a lot of things. But that will be a big factor. Like, this is clearly a, a, a very carefully curated statement. Not an emotional rant on Twitter. A very carefully crafted statement to gauge the temperature of the audience and to find out, okay, like, you know, how, how, how much, how big of a truck are we willing to back up? You know, but it's, but it's also good for Tom Holland because it leaves him on a wonderful, you know, a, a, leaving a wonderful taste in the mouths of all of the other buyers, people that go, you know, what's it like to work with oh, Tom yeah, Holland? If we work with him, He'll never cause Absolutely. us embarrassment. He'll never cause us problems. If I'm a producer and I'm considering hiring Tom Holland, I know, you know what? That's a good company, man. Yeah, he's a good He's a good investment. But here's where it's brilliant, too. This answer, this which you know he had prep to give every 100%. time he's going to be asked. Here's the other brilliance of his answer. It's calculated. Mm -hmm. And here's why it's calculated. That answer that he gave, that he gave, that, hey, they, man, they know all they got to do is ask and I'll be right there. What that does is it puts the ball in Disney's court yep. and it puts all the pressure on them. Now in the perception, in the eyes of the audience, if for whatever reason something can't get done, 
the audience is going to be, well, Tom said he was willing to come back. Yeah. This is Disney's fault if it doesn't happen, which is really smart. I mean, this is... Because even if they want him to come back and they offer him money, if he goes... It's not enough. It's still going to look like it's Disney's yeah. fault because he has. Yeah, it's brilliant. And it's brilliant because he's saying, hey, anybody else? I'm open for hire. So if you want to offer me something else, then let me know. Which you he know, should. Which he should. A hundred percent. He should do this. I, I, I continue to become a bigger and bigger fan of Tom, Tom Holland. I mean, he not only can he sing and dance and he's fearless and he's great as Spider-Man, but he's also really developing and at least, or he's just got really good management with him. Either way, I but think regardless, being a smart business person is not just knowing what to do and say yourself. It's knowing who to surround yourself yes. with so that they don't say things on your behalf that make you look like a piece of shit. Yep. So his value just continues to go yep. up. Question is, guys, what do you think about this? Spider-Man 3 No Way Home is officially the final film on Tom Holland's contract. I don't think there's much doubt he's going to be back. I mean, obviously there are, hey, money is money, business is business, but I, I'd be shocked if he doesn't come back. I like the way he's handling it. I like the way Disney's handling it and Sony's so far as well. Question is, guys, what do you think about it? Jump on down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys.